I love my rock. I love my Jesus. And I encourage the saints of the most high God. Plant your feet on the solid rock. Jesus is his name. You know, boy, you see these folks messing with me? Because, because they sing the missing tree song. They're pointing at about the solid rock. I'm standing on a solid rock. Just touch it on that there and make them hear. And if you're standing on the solid rock, and you know the power that you've got, Satan, you can't prevail. sit down and not preach you. It is good to have every saint in the house. It is good to have every saint in the house. We have, we have visitors. Pastor King and his saints from Spanish Town Road are here with us tonight. God Almighty. Wave your hands, Pastor King. And the saints from Spanish Town Road. Glory be to God. Praise God. Pastor Richard and the saints from Ascot. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And all those from like precious faith that are in the house tonight, we greet you. We salute you. It's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. And it's a good thing for brethren to dwell together in unity. Let's continue to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth and in the beauty of holiness. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. I don't know if in the mid, as we go on, we can just have Pastor King and Pastor Richard just leave a shout of praise. You will do that now. God bless you. Come on, Pastor King and Pastor Richard, as I hand over back to Deacon Bailey in Jesus' name. A shout of praise. daily and of course you know we, we, we talk about our two pastors from Kelly and guess what you know you have some saints don't see what them look like yet so we're going to ask them to come and shout a praise or just leave a word see you again like this morning God bless you sir some folks still don't see you yet God bless you thank you praise the name of the Lord Jesus says, I'm under the lock. Why is he in Swahili? Miko chini ya mwamba, ya mwamba juu yangu. Yesu ni fiche, niko chini ya mwamba. Ambia dui zangu, niko chini ya mwamba. Yesu ni fiche, niko chini ya mwamba. Niko chini ya mwamba, mwamba juu yangu. Yesu ni fiche niko chini ya mwamba Ambia dui zangu niko chini ya mwamba Yesu ni fiche niko chini ya mwamba Oh hallelujah Niko chini ya mwamba mwamba juu yangu Yesu ni fiche niko chini ya mwamba Ambia dui zangu Hallelujah! I'm under the rock. Come on, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. He is the only God in heaven and on earth. 
in Africa, in Australia, in Europe, there is only one God, and his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is no three gods. There is no two gods. There is no triple God. There is only one God manifested in the flesh, and his name is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank him for making me to be part of this meeting tonight. And so I praise God. I want to bring you uh, greetings from Africa. They are brothers. They confirmed to me today that they have been praying for this meeting from Uganda, from Tanzania. The whole, all, the whole Kenya, all the saints, all the pastors has been praying for this meeting. And one of our sister told me, she said, as you are there, let me tell you, tell the congregation and other people that God has taken this time and this moment to give now, to give back to the true church. And so we are not marching backward because God has given us the land in the name of Jesus. So God bless you. I have nothing to add because I feel joy and I want to remain here to receive from the Lord. More, 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 more about Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we wave our hand and say hallelujah? Can we shout glory? Can we say Jesus? Hallelujah. That is to say, praise the Lord. In Swahili, I'm happy to be here tonight. I'm not here for an accident. Since the beginning and the foundation of the earth, God knew that Pastor Joseph will be here today. Hallelujah. And no devil, no demon, hallelujah, no government, no man could never stop me to be here, hallelujah, amen. And I'm telling you, saint of God, that we are preaching this gospel because this is a true gospel, hallelujah. One God, one faith, one baptism. Act to do that yet. Repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. This is the gospel we are preaching in Africa. And Africa is going to be changed as we hold hands together and take the land apostolically. Hallelujah. As we walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, and we are going to fear no evil because soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. to meet the king. God bless you so much. We love you. We love you. Africa is praying for you. God bless you so much. God bless you, sir. Praise God. So this is Pastor Joseph and Pastor Sammy seated. Let me ask this, sir Alvaranga to come and to leave the announcement. I know it's not a lot. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Buena Tiviwe! Glory to Dios! Praise the Lord, everybody! Is the work is an international convention. 
Africa, we speak Swahili, and we speak Spanish. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Please listen carefully to the following announcement. On Monday, what do we have? No, man, you're not excited. On Monday, what do we have? Mission convention continues, and our day session starts at 1 p.m. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, we want to acknowledge Minister Winston Rowe, who just came in. God bless you, sir. And I know we'll be hearing from him later on, Rev. Good to have you, sir. Praise God. Convention could never be the same without your presence. Amen. Praise God. And we want to... Uh, say greetings to all our brethren who would love to be here and they're watching us via internet. Praise God. I know you worship wherever you are right now with us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me just invite the ushers to come so we can collect our offering. And during this time, Sister Krista will be ministering for us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for your blessings. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. As we come, Lord God, to collect a portion of your offering, we pray, Almighty God, that you bless it. We pray, Almighty God, for those who have to give, for those who have not to give. Have your way even now as we continue to offer up worship and praise in your precious name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let us just worship. Thank you, Jesus.
Come again. One, two, three. Ah, God bless you. You may be seated. If you can, let me invite the choir to come and to minister at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right, I hear that we get one testimony. One testimony before the choir. Okay, Sister Sherry Richards, praise God. I've been saying it for two or three weeks. 
I say an explosion is about to happen and none of us will be the same. And I know it started in me because I'm anticipating. I'm just shaking. I want it to happen and I know it's going to happen because it has started. It has started. And for me, there is no looking back. Satan on my track. I'm lucky because he has no chance with me. My household is covered in Jesus Christ. My household, we are all believers in Jesus' name. And there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power even in a whisper. Even if you say Jesus. If you say Jesus. Right? Your fire, your match might not, might not have been lit yet. But it's not up to Pastor Daly to strike a match for you. It is not up to Pastor Samuel, Pastor Jones. It's not up to Pastor Bailey. And we all know Sam are fire. It's not up to any of these folks on the choir loft or anybody, anybody down there. It wasn't up to my mother to light a fire for me. I had to anticipate the great things that Jesus had in store. And I'm just giving thanks. And let me tell you, when you see me jumping like crazy, it is because I'm crazy for Jesus. I might have grown up in the church, but I wasn't as fanatic as I am now, I can tell you. I mean, I'm not going to worry for her. I'm going to pray because she's young. I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to pray that you stay the course. And we're going to work on it because there's a prayer room at my house. Right? And as long as we are here, I tell you, the pastor, if you just allow me 30 more seconds, I'll tell you something. Every night we're having devotion. A couple of nights, all I can hear Uncle saying to her, you know, Dominique, you're going to have to learn for cooking now. You're going to have to learn for cook. Because when rapture comes, my auntie, everybody, me, your auntie, everybody gone. You're dead on your own. And that's what he's, that's the message he's been putting in her head. So if you want to stay here, we're not concerned about anything after the rapture. We will learn it so we can witness and tell you what you're not, you don't want to be a part of. So you make it into glory on the first go. You make it into the rapture. And this is what this International Missions Convention is all about. Don't, you don't need to learn to cook after the rapture. Yeah? You don't need to learn to cook for that. You're going to make it. The food will, oh, will always be full. But let me give God all the glory. And I'm going to say from the bottom of my heart, ha! So thankful to God be the glory. I was trying to find the scripture verse that has actually become the mantra in our house. It is, it is uh, in Joshua, sir, when just 14. Ah, uh, here, here it is, here it is. And the leader of my house says, and if it seem evil, Joshua 24, 15, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom he will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amoritites. I'm all right, so I'm sorry, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Bless you, choir. I must be ready. I want to be ready. Let me invite the entire church to stand with me. Invite Pastor Nimi to come and to introduce our speaker for the night. Praise God. Can I ask everybody to stand? Praise God. We thank the Lord for his rich presence in the house. Amen. Tonight, God is a good God. Can't you feel his presence? I want to declare that he's already here. He's in the house right now. And we bless his great name. Somebody bless the Lord right now. Just lift your hands and whisper his name. Tell him something sweet, something nice, something beautiful. Right now, right in your seat, wherever you are. Just, just send up something to him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, great God Almighty, and we thank you.
for who you are and what you have been doing in our lives. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God. We heard from him earlier today. But you know today, in terms of our service this afternoon, that's past. And that's gone. And we have received and digested that word. And the anointing was in the house. And we soak it up. Tonight we have been soaking up the anointing, the presence of the Lord. But we need to hear from him again. I'm a craving individual. I'm greedy for some things. Um, I don't care what you want. You might call me gluttonous, but that's all right. But I'm gluttonous for the things of God. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crazy person for the things of God. And I love the word of the living God. I love to hear his word. I will sit all evening and listen to testimonies and listen to preaching and listen and listen to scriptures on the, the, the phone or CD or whatever. I love to hear the word. And we are... Very blessed tonight, saints of the Most High God, to have visiting with us from 20 South Camp, Camp Road of the Bethel Apostolic Church, a, a friend of Faith Chapel, a friend of this assembly. Amen. No stranger to us. When we were in Africa last year, who was there with us? No, 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 brother and friend, Minister Winston Rowe, Elder Winston Rowe, preacher Winston Rowe, he was there with us, and so he is no stranger to us. We are delighted tonight to have him in the house to declare the word of the living God in this, our first day, first night of Missions Convention, and without any further ado, can I ask the saints at this time to make Welcome to this podium to minister the word of the living God, Elder Winston Rowe. Receive him in Jesus' name. Praise God. Come on, just give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Isn't he God all by himself? Yes, Lord. You are God all by yourself. And you need no help. You sit high and you look slow. You are here in the midst of your people. And thou art mighty in the midst of your people. And you continually will be. And even forevermore. Tonight, Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. And we give you praise. Rain, Jesus. Rain. We come to take this country. We come to rock this country with the power of the Almighty God. Let every power be subjected to the higher power now. For there is no power but the power that there be of the Lord. Jesus Christ. Let everybody say we agree. we agree. In Jesus name. You may be seated if you can. Amen. The spirit of God here and to pastor and sister Dali. I can't say daily now. It's, it's different now. I, I'm saying Dali. Amen. <laughs> we have visitors so we have to Make sure that our visitors are comfortable. Amen. Amen. And to <laughs> Pastor Sammy and Pastor Joseph and to all the ministerial body here, choir, amen, congregation, visiting friends, everybody that sits here, stands here in the sounding of my voice. Greetings in Jesus' name. And I love you all in Jesus' name. Come on, do you love me? Amen. Amen. I love you all. I love you. I love you. I love God's people. I'm very jealous. Godly jealousy over God's people. Open your Bibles with me. We're going into the book of Exodus. 
Amen. And we find it. Exodus 10, verse 3. We're going to look at a lot of scriptures, but we'll do it in time allotted. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews. Now let's change it so we can get closer. Thus saith the Lord God of Rejoicing now. How long will thou refuse to humble thyself before me, Jamaica? Let my people go that they may serve me singular me only me one God me one Lord me that give us one faith me one baptism me let's turn our Bibles to first Timothy for know the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits doctrines 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 of devils a lot of that around now speaking lies in hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron. I'm not finished yet. Find that for you. In 2 Timothy 3, just a continuation. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves you have seen a lot of them around, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers, opposed that are good, traitor, heady, I minded. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And the final one, verse 5, spiritual suicide, I call it. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away God's people. You know that we are living a time in which everybody expects something to happen. Everybody expects something to happen. Some people expect to be married. It's true. Some expect to leave the country and go live in another country. Some expect to get a job. Some expect to graduate with honors from university. Some expect to buy a new car house, what you mean, but everybody live with expectation. But I want to tell you tonight that there's a theme that is bubbling in my spirit. Let my people go. Let my people go. There are many, many persons that are 
understanding of everything that is happening around them. And there are persons who just don't have a clue. But there are things that will point us to a direction that will tell us that, look, you have got to take heed in what you are doing or what you are planning to do. Come on, say hallelujah. But the best thing to do now as living beings and human beings is to make friend with Jesus. Make friend with Jesus. Do something and attract him in your living room. Uh, maybe in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in your bathroom. But do something because he is looking for friendship. He knows what is about to take place. Now, when we look at the scripture that was read, we see where there were some people that were called by the name of God that was imprisoned in another land. In other words, that type of imprisonment is a type of death. It was a type of sentence. Some of them recognized the God of Abraham and they knew that therefore parents worship the true and living God and they hold on to something. Others might just have loved the prison work. They might have loved the general penitentiary of Egypt and they prefer garlic and water. But I want to tell you tonight that there are some folks that are sitting here that God wants you to know that I need you to be set free for me to take you on the other side. Mm -hmm. When I think of the people of God in Egypt, I, I also think about Lazarus who was a friend of Jesus. A man who Jesus loved and his family. But Lazarus was dead. Lazarus is a type of God's people that was locked up in a dead cell and God knew that he would resurrect him again. Am I speaking to somebody here? God knew that he is going to deliver his people. The scripture said he heard the cry of his people and he came down to deliver. And so understand where I'm going tonight, my people, is that God wants to bring his people out of exile. He wants to break us out of the prison of the enemy. Say hallelujah. Yes, and so there is always a moment of power. In other words, there's always a prison break moment. There's always a resurrection moment. There's always a moment where God is going to move something to bring us out. Say hallelujah. Yes, so Lazarus, when I think of this story, I look at Lazarus, a man that was locked up in death. I looked at the people of God in Egypt. They were locked up in death. But God promises them a deliverance. And ain't we waiting on a deliverance now? So listen what God did now. God prepared for them a Passover. Very important, the Passover. Because people have to be raptured. God is ready to move you from A to B. We are in the moment of Yom Kippur. I don't want to call it a man, but it's a moment where the people of God stands in perfect victory. So we are in perfect victory. Yom Kippur prepared the people of God for the Passover. So the time has come for God's people to move from A to B. And so God told Moses, now listen to me, my friend. They have been imprisoned for too long. It's time for the rapture. This is final moment. This is the end moment. Tell them to kill some goat, some sheep. Get that blood and put it on the lintel of their door. Because I am about to transform their homes into a place of transportation. I'm a 
about to transform your home into an airport. Come on, don't you get right. I'm about to transform your home into an embassy. Something must happen. And so they did what God asked them to do. We call it the Passover. And God did what he should, that he promised to do, that he was going to move over Egypt. And he was going to kill every firstborn of the Egyptian. God is ready to move right now. The scripture said that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. We're in a season where the hearts of men are hardened by God. Some of us are in places where we wonder why God don't come now and deliver me. Some of us are saying, why God, why does the Eden rage? Why am I in this position? But it is God setting you up. God has given us a Passover. He has shed his blood upon Calvary. God did not do it just because he could. But he did it out of love. Because he desired. like an embassy because God's blood was at the doorpost. God wanted now to let them understand that I am going to transform you into kings and presidents. You are going to represent me. Now let's bring it to the church. We are a royal priesthood. We are peculiar. We're a holy nation. We are called by God to bring praises to his name. So God prepare us. Oh Lord, do you know you're sitting in an embassy now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know that when the death angel came that night, he could not pass the borders of the embassy because of the blood of Jesus. That's why you need to get under the blood of Jesus. Because nothing, you see church, you have to understand what God did with us. He transforms us that, let me tell you, it's like if you go to another country, the U.S. Embassy here, and if somebody wants to go to America in exile or to get some relief from Jamaica, and they feel like they're being abused, they will run into the embassy. A place of refuge. This is a place of refuge. This is where God wants us to recognize that nothing can come for you now while you're here except you ask me, devil. You can't step in the embassy except you ask the higher authority. While you are here tonight, you can't. get it. You can't die because God is preparing you to be raptured. If you're not baptized yet in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, your time is tonight. So God gave us the constitution of the embassy the constitution of the kingdom. And he said, we should live by this constitution because I am ready to take you over, Jesus Christ. No, 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 understand why God has allowed the hearts of men to be hardened because we have come into a system and a time where it, we call it perilous time. The time when Moses went to greet Pharaoh was perilous time. It was perilous time for the church that 
was in Egypt. It was a time that was not easy. But God was about to do something. It was a time in which God needed his people to come out and be separated so you could worship him. Oh, bless God. But the doctrine of the apostles, God has given the church. In the doctrine, it's wrapped up the Passover. In the doctrine, it's wrapped up the blood of Jesus Christ. In the doctrine of the apostles, everything that God gives to the church and the Christ in this covenanted moment is wrapped up. You cannot be saved except you step into the constitution of the kingdom of God. The death angel will kill you. The blood of Jesus is still prevailing. So here comes Jesus. He spoke about the time, the night in John 6, when he spoke about the night comet, where no man can work. We have entered in a season of night. Where many things are happening. Vividly before our eyes, we are seeing darkness. The night comet, where many refuse to do the will of God. The spirit of terror is still rampant. That's why we have this end time conference. That's why we have it because the spirit of terror that is linked to the spirit of Jezebel, that is linked to the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar, must go down. Night represents darkness. Many persons are still in darkness tonight. People are outside of the covenant of God. Therefore, we have got to submit to the constitution of the kingdom of God. I have got to submit to Acts 2.38. I have got to submit to the doctrine of the apostles tonight. So I can be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. This is the constitution because you see what God wants, he wants to bring us into godly colonization where he will colonize us and we will be his sons and we will worship him but it can't happen if you are not under the constitution of the kingdom of God. So God is ready. Lord Jesus, God is not ready to pull us out to the next corner. So listen to me, my friends. God wants us now in this last time. You see, this conference is not an easy conference. It comes in a time where many are hungry. There was a drought in Jamaica, and the drought wasn't about water. It was for the word of God. It was for this, because there's too much idolatry. There's too much necromancy. There is too much sin in the land. So you swear it was water. Oh, God, let me not get into this tonight. It wasn't water. It was God speaking to the church that I will preserve you in the midst of the desert. I am going to keep you. Understand what God was doing. God was making sure that his people are sure that he is in control. So he wants to colonize us now. Because in order to move in the rapture, you've got to speak the language of the rapture. One of the things that the devil wants is to bring the world together under one language. Because that's what God is doing with his people. He's bringing us under one language. The language of the kingdom. The language of kings. The language of God. That's why we speak in tongues. That's why we are filling the Holy Ghost. Because this is, it's a language of the kingdom of God. And God is bringing his people together. Don't you know what God wants to do? God 
wants to transform us as ambassadors to on behalf of himself to represent him. This is what God wants to do. He wants to do the same thing that he did with the people of God called Passover. He wants to bring us out and bring us over. He wants to pull us from where we are and pull us in. Oh God Almighty. So listen what God is doing now. In all the teachings that we'll be getting, we'll be hearing it in English, but it's a language of the kingdom. Listen to me what I'm saying here tonight. Moses went to speak to Pharaoh, but Moses was transformed to be like a God. A representative of God. The church has become that representation of the person of God. We represent in God. In other words, we're a type of Moses. We've got to face the pharaohs of this time. Oh Lord, you're not getting me. Because there's got to be a crossover. My people must be set free. My God, listen to me. So God wants to bring here tonight the same children of Israel in Egypt. So listen what God did. Now when he changes the language, Moses spoke on God's behalf. God is setting us up to, to speak on his behalf now in this country. God has anointed our tongues. God has anointed your voices. God has anointed your steps. My God. The language of the kingdom is what is necessary now. It's a Passover language. It's an ambassadorial language. It's a language that God gave to those that will seek him. Moses spoke another language before Pharaoh. Pharaoh could not understand this man because he was speaking on behalf of God. Moses Represent God. Listen to me, church. Speaking to man's kingdom. Pharaoh. Listen what we're going to speak to this week. We're going to speak to man's kingdom. Moses spoke to man's authority. We're going to speak to man's authority this week. Moses spoke to man's language. We're going to speak to man's language this week. Listen. Moses spoke to man's power. We're going to speak to man's power this week. Oh God, Pharaoh, you're coming down. My God. Moses spoke to man's covering. We're going to speak to man's covering this week. Moses spoke to man's doctrine. Oh God, we're going to speak to every false doctrine this week. Moses spoke to man's constitution. We're going to speak to man's constitution this week because the voice of God is going to trumpet. But somebody needs to get under the blood. Somebody needs to get under the blood of Jesus. Moses represents God. He spoke to principalities, Satan's government. We are going to speak to Satan's government and let it know that the gates of hell shall not prevail. He spoke to the powers of the government of Satan. He commanded it to be powerless. He spoke to spiritual wickedness in high places. Oh God, I hope you're hearing me here tonight. He spoke to the rulers of darkness of Egypt. Here we are tonight. Moses walked like God before Pharaoh. He represent God to Pharaoh and the people. Therefore, God endowed upon him many signs and wonders. What am I saying here tonight? Pharaoh represents a system of the world, a system of idolatry, a system of false religions, a system of witchcraft, a system, my God, of Freemason and all these necromancies of the last days. And God has hardened his heart because God was about to do something supernatural in the midst of his people. What am I saying tonight? 
somebody, God sent me here to tell you that I have set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. I have put a mark upon you. I pull you here tonight because I need you to cross over. I need you to cross over. So listen what happened. The city of refuge was ready to move out. And they traveled, traveled to the Red Sea. It's a type of taking away. It's a type of rapture. They were ready. Some of us might be saying we are not ready. But I'm telling you tonight, God is preparing your heart to repent of your sins. If you have not yet baptized in Jesus' name, God is preparing your heart. Listen to me tonight. If you're a backslider, for you to run, come to this altar and say, I surrender. I am not going to stay in Egypt. I am ready to be raptured. Nothing is going to stop me from being raptured tonight. I am coming over. I don't care how many persons tell me I can't. I don't care what my mind tells me that I will not. But I am ready. And so they went to the water. And God did the greatest miracle of all. He opened the sea. I want to tell somebody tonight, Pharaoh has already let you go. We're in the end of time. We're in the time where Pharaoh himself demonstrated to the people of God perilous, perilous time. It's one of the wickedest times that the people of God have ever experienced because they were in slavery. There's some of you that are still in the slavery of sin tonight. But we are living in the time where God is saying, you are free and it's time to cross over. So the Bible said Moses led them through the Red Sea. And as they walked through the Red Sea, they were baptized unto Moses. Can you imagine? That's why you've got to baptize Unto Jesus Christ. There's no other deliverer. He's the Passover. He's the blood this time. Not the blood of rams and goats and, and, and bulls. But it is his blood that has set you free tonight. The blood of Jesus. No other blood. That's the blood. That's the Passover blood. The death angel can't touch you. Nothing can come in this building for you tonight. Not even gunmen. You're in the right place at the right time in the end of time. And they move on the other side. And as they were moving on the other side, there was clothes over their head. And the armies of Pharaoh that is coming after some of us tonight can't catch you because tomorrow you're the arena. Can't catch you because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Not again, devil. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. I've been resting. Oh God, it's just a big blessing. I'm going through with Jesus tonight. I am going through. I am ready to cross over. I command you, devil, if you still hold somebody here, let them go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. And so they move through the water. A type of rapture. A type of impossibility. Because some persons don't believe that 
like we are. We are not going to die. But we are going to be caught up. Those that are already dead at the sound of the trumpet. Hallelujah. Listen what the scripture said. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. And we that are alive and remain, we're going to be caught up. It's a type of going through the Red Sea. It's a type of moving under a cloud. It's a type of telling Pharaoh, bye-bye. No more sin. Goodbye, world. I am God. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, relationships. Goodbye, goodbye, false doctrine. Goodbye, false churches. Goodbye, goodbye, Trinity doctrine. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let my people go. And God brought them on the other side. And that's what God is saying to his people tonight. I am ready to bring you on the other side. Are you ready tonight? That's the question. If you are ready tonight, if somebody here tonight believe that you are ready to go over on the other side, you are not yet baptized. I need you to come to this altar right now. Hallelujah. Let me say it another time. We're living in a season where we know that the rapture of the church is near. We know that there's going to be a great taking away. God is going to open somebody's Red Sea. We're going to move on the other side. But there's somebody here tonight. You might not have been ready. You might not have been put, you might not have put on the name of Jesus Christ in baptism. You could have been a backslider. Come, let us pray for you right here. Just get up and come. Don't be afraid. Just come. Just come. Don't be afraid to come. Pharaoh can't hold you any longer. He's not going to hold you. He can't. This is an embassy. This is a house of refuge. In the name of Jesus. Come, let me pray for you. Come. Hallelujah. Come. In the name of Jesus. We need some of you that are not yet baptized to come. Don't be afraid. You've got to pass through this. In the name of Jesus. The Lamb of God taketh away the sins of the world. And he's ready to bring us on the other side. Is there somebody else that are ready to be an ambassador of the kingdom of God? Is there somebody here tonight that is ready? Ready to say, Lord, I surrender to you. I am not staying back after the rapture. I am not going to cook any food after the rapture. I am ready to serve you and know that you are real. Come on, be honest with your spirit. Be honest with your soul. Don't be honest with yourself anymore because you have hurt yourself so much. It's time to be honest to the soul in your spirit. Come on, it's time to be honest to your soul. Is there somebody who have a soul here tonight? You're not yet baptized and you're sure you have a soul in you. Be honest to your soul. Come. This is a house of refuge. You run to this place and the enemy can't do you nothing because it's a house of refuge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. Keep coming from upstairs. Keep coming from downstairs. We're going to pray for you. This is a new walk for you. This is a new beginning for you. It's a new move for you. 
Aleluia. 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 Let my people go. Let my people go. I don't care what is telling me that I can't. But tonight, God is saying, my blood was shed for the remission of sins. My blood was shed as a type of the Passover. And I'm ready to bring you out. I'm delivering you. I'm taking you from bondage. No more prison. I'm not bound anymore. Tonight, I surrender. Is there one young man here? One young man, not yet baptized in Jesus' name. I know why I'm calling you. You're not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I need it to come. It's only ladies at the altar. I know there's a man here. There's one man here. You've got to be here. Come, let us pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's time to break loose. It's time to step out. It's time to say I'm free. It's time to say I'm ready. If God should come tonight, I must be ready. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready tonight? Hallelujah. Are you ready to be a king? Are you ready to serve the Lord? Quiet to sing this song for me. I surrender. I surrender. Oh. Just sing it quiet. I surrender all. Somebody else. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Somebody just needs to surrender right now. Surrender from false religion. I surrender. I surrender all. Sing it, sing it, choir. I surrender. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed. somebody else that was dead and need to be resurrected. I surrender. Oh, I surrender. Just surrender tonight. Just surrender. Oh, short time but we just need it to come that's why we are here we're here for you to surrender just surrender just surrender just surrender right now I surrender hallelujah Yes, Lord, some people come in stealth. Yes, Lord. 
speak to their spirit. It's time to leave bondage. It's time to come out of prison. It's time to move out of prison. It's time to step out from the hands of Pharaoh. It's time to move out of this world. It's time to step out from among them. It's time to be separated. It's time to surrender. opportunity to give up tonight. It's your opportunity to surrender tonight. If God should come tonight, if the Lord should come tonight, in the name of Jesus, we speak deliverance in you right now. We set you free right now in the name of Jesus. We set you free right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We set you free. We set your mind free. We set them free, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak deliverance right now. Deliverance. Deliverance. We set this woman free right now. We set her from the bondage of Egypt. We set her from the bondage of Pharaoh. We set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty. Just surrender tonight. Just surrender and go home free tonight. I surrender. Oh, 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 oh. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, oh, oh. All to me. Lord, I bless the Lord tonight. 
We are going to ask for seats. As many of us are that far back, we're going to ask us all to stand. We, once you're going to remain behind, let's just join in with the worship and what is happening here. There are some folks here who are reaching out for the spirit of Almighty God, and we want to all participate. If you can make it to the front, there is some space here. Come on down and let's join together. Praise God. Let's join together as we reach out after the Lord and pray with those at the altars. It's, this is a critical part of what's happening here, and we ask that we come and be a part. If the front cannot hold anymore, then just remain in your seat. But I believe some more can uh, be accommodated at the front. Won't you come on, saints of the Most High God? Critical part of the service, and we must be a part of this. Make your way. And as we come, there are still some folks who are still some folks who are coming. Won't you come? You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Spirit of God. You're not yet baptized in the name of the Lord. It's a good time for you to come to these altars and to just allow God to do his thing in your life. Won't you come? Saints of God, come a little bit nearer. You might feel tired and you're sitting, but look, it's time that we just get up together and let's worship the Lord together and be a part of the altar service here. God is about to do something and I want all of us to play our role. Praise God. God bless those who are still coming. Come on. God bless you. God bless you. Sing as go. God bless you. Altar workers come and let's find somebody. Pray with them. Let's have a great time at the altars here tonight in Jesus' name. Is your all on the altar? Come on, altar workers. Come on, altar workers. Sweet rain. 